Hey everyone, it's Sunday the 6th of July and it's 1.15 in the afternoon. Today's video is going to be another Model Railway related video. Yes, I've got the Model Railway down because I've been sort of mocking up where I want the buildings. Or at least some of them. I've got, I think I worked out about five of them are actually in their permanent homes. Two of them are actually glued down. They have been for a while. Um, so yeah, I thought I'd uh, to show you what I've been up to. Talk about the future plans for the layout and uh, perhaps run a few locos around it as well. So, we're going to start over in that far corner, I think. Now, I've already barred the cats from being up here. Because I've already been causing some damage. Or at least one of them have, and I believe it's smudge. Anyway, so I've put the windmill over in that corner. So I think it looks great in the little fenced off area because the last bit of work I did on this was grassing that back corner and fencing it off with the intent to put some cows in there. That was going to be a cow field. Or at least I was going to half it and have cows in one and something else in the other half. But I decided the windmill looks good on there. So I'm going to add just some cows or some sheep maybe grazing around it. That's got to be glued in, so that windmill is in its permanent spot. Um, next, we've got the signal box. I'm not sure if that's the right place for it. Um, my logic is that that's where all your sidings are. That is where you would have your box. Because <laughs> um, there is none over by the train station, so I, I really don't see a use for it over here. Um, if anyone knows different or better, then please let me know in the comments down below, because I would like to actually put it as close to where it's meant to be as possible. Um, now, actually, while we're still on that corner, I'm having trouble with the point. Um, I was having connection problem with it. Well, I'm not sure if it's the point or the point motor. But even though it looked like, you know, because you've got your point tracks and they move left and right, to allow the train to go either direction but it wasn't making it looked like it was making contact with the other metal rail but it wasn't because that part of the track just suddenly went dead it's working now I can send this uh, GWR around he says that's gone through and I bet that's not that point in that direction and uh, Oh no, it's got stuck in a bit of dirt. There we go. Let's just bring that back. Yeah, um, and I'm also not happy with my uh, ballasting work in that corner, sort of in that corner through to the little straight bit right on the end. It's about that much straight right on the end. So I'm thinking of actually pulling up that point, pulling up the straight that goes down the back there, because I've never been happy with that one either. This one's nice, I like this one. That one's just crap in my opinion. Clearing all the ballast off, relaying the track and relaying new ballast. <clears throat> and seeing if that would uh, help with things. I hope it does. As for the two houses over there. I'm not sure if that's where they're going to stay. That's just where I've put them for the time being. Right, now we come up to the train yard. So I've decided on keeping that train shed. Reason being, even though this is absolutely identical to the one I picked up uh, on Thursday, it's um, this one lacks the little office that sits on this side of it. So when I put the track down, I didn't factor in for that, did I? So there's no room to put the office that's on the other one, so it won't actually fit. So what I've decided to do, I don't think I've got the office on the other side. No. I'm going to use the other one on the end-to-end -end layout I want to build up on a shelf in the lounge. Because I can literally just stick it right at the end and store two locos in it. So that one has a use. 
It's just not going to go on here. I'm just going to leave that one in. That one has been glued down for ages, so that's ready. The good shed is exactly where it needs to be. That's just got to be literally glued into place. I don't know why I didn't do it last time I had this layout down, because it is ready to go. I've got all the, white, the lights wired up, the whites lined up even. Um, or at least, yeah, so I've just got to poke the wires through and literally glue that into place. Oh, I think that was it, because I was letting the ballast dry, which is actually a completely crappy job along there as well. Um, yeah, so that needs gluing down. Um, I've got two of the yard lights and I've got some more yard lights, I think very similar to those. I'll have to check the pot. Here it is. I'll put all my um, lighting in a tub like this just to stop smudge nicking it because he kept nicking it to chew on the wires. <laughs> so uh, just to stop that. Ah yes, I have got some other yard lights. Got these ones, didn't I? Forgot about those. Got a few of those, and I've got some electric signals as well. I wouldn't mind trying to get these wired up and working as well. Where's the camera? There it is. I forgot a book or a load of that on uh, eBay. Sweet. I don't know where Snowy's gone, but Smudge is actually asleep on the bed. Alright, let's move on. I have to zoom out a bit now. So I've got a few houses and uh, the school, that's the school building. At this end, I'm not sure if that's exactly where they're going to stay. I've got to just, you know, shuffle things about and whatnot still. But I was just thinking of like, you know, a street of some sort. Um, and then that's the station I settled on with um, the plastic Hornby platform. I don't know why, I've just always liked the plastic Hornby platform. So when I found that, I was quite um, happy. Now in um, the box I've got for Cat, there is some of this in there as well, if she wants to use that on hers. Um, I'm going to keep the other one of these, which is smaller, and I'll put that on my end-to-end. -end. But the um, other little station building, I'm going to give to Cat, so it's going to go in the box. As well as my old station building, I couldn't rescue the cardboard platform, that just, it would not come off here. I mean, I've actually peeled it up and stuck it down at least three times, so I'm not surprised it was just going to say no for that fourth time. Um, so yeah, unfortunately I had to bin that. That's one of the other reasons I actually prefer this plastic, I think it's stronger. Anywho, it does mean I've actually got to build uh, something for that to sit on. But I actually thought that's quite a benefit as well, because I've got little areas either side here that I could use for station parking. So, that does work. <laughs> Although it does mean I've got to put the actual main part of the street further back, which isn't a problem. So yeah, the road is not going to be that wide, probably. I'm just guessing, like I said, I'm just mocking things up. Uh, where am I? I'm going to use my re-railer. Thank you, Cap, for um, reminding me what that was. I just could not think of it when I was doing that video. Yeah, so I've got the bus stop here. I thought that would make logical sense to have it on the main street in the village. A hotel for visitors. I've got the pub. I suppose with a shop there as well. My custom made shop, which is basically two of these just butchered up to make that. Because <laughs> I wanted to try my my hand at, you know, just creating something from scraps basically. Because I had three of these. And this was the best one out of all three. The others were all really falling to bits and stuff. So I also got some of this print out of tiling and whatnot, so I stuck that on the roof. As you can see, this uses the same. <laughs> so I remade all the roofs and just basically I took this bit and stuck it to this part of the building and took out that back bit. And I think that worked uh, quite nice. I shouldn't have blocked up that door really because it doesn't really work. Oh well. Um, I've got a library there, but I might change the nameplate on that and just put Village Hall. See if I can find a Village Hall. Um, transfer or sticker or something to put on there. You wouldn't really have a library in a village, would you? So I just think it would make a bit more sense just to change that to the vi um, village hall. Yeah, I'm not 
not sure if I want the hotel there because I really don't like the buildings with their backs to me. I've been trying to avoid it. Um, that's what I am trying to avoid, considering, you know, when you come in the room, you can get down the back, but it's not that easy. I've, it's mainly enough space just for me to get down there to do maintenance and things in the building. So, when I don't any... Well, I'm having trouble spitting me words on my tongue, keep getting in a twist. <clears throat> anyway. Whenever guests come in and they look at this, they're going to be looking at it primarily from this side. So I was trying to keep it so the buildings faced us as much as possible. At least faced, you know, in from that end. And like the garage up that end there, also facing in. I really love that garage building. I'm so happy that was in there. Can I zoom in a bit? Where is it? There it is. And I've put that sort of old barn thing with it. And that'll make up part of it, and uh, obviously I'll fence off the yard and whatnot, and you know, it could be barns for parts storage, car parts. So I, I, I might try and weather a few myself, but I'm also going to look on eBay and see if I can find any that someone selling that have been weathered and made to look like a scrap car, because I would like some of them sort of dotted in the yard, maybe as a future project. I could perhaps have some classics in there. As future restoration projects, really. Uh, I think that's it. So the train station is in its permanent home. The windmill is in its permanent home. I've got a cottage on the corner uh, there, which is in its permanent home. I've actually got another one of those cottages as well. Over there, beside that sort of big country house. Um, what I wouldn't actually mind finding, and I have looked on eBay, and I couldn't find any, is some more, another couple at least, of these terraced houses. So I could make a proper street. That's not a terraced house, that's a semi-detached, sorry, that's a terraced. That's what I would prefer, and then have this one, like, going off on a different street. So I'd have a couple of streets, like maybe separate one of these buildings like that and have a street going down there with a few houses on it and then in this area right where the country house is and the garage I was going to put like a village grid in fact what I was going to do let me just make sure the camera's the camera's not on the spot is it um I need to zoom out <laughs> zoomed in a bit too much that's better so in that area right here somewhere, I was going to put like a, like a green area, a grassy area. Um, and the reason I was going to put it there is because it's right near um, the railway line. Because, just as a little recap, I'm doing a, um, a preservation railway theme. Um, so it's set in modern times, basically. That's the time period I'm going for modern day but as a preserved line <clears throat> and the reason I decided on that is because I just I wanted the choice of locos and rolling stock and whatnot so I could literally just change things up and put whatever I wanted on it um, so I thought you know preserved railway they're gonna want to raise some funds you know so they can restore the locos and whatnot so I thought I'd do a little grassy patch forum somewhere with vehicle access and whatnot and well, that would be where I would line up the v classic cars for the classic car shows they're not going to be glued in place reason being so I can change the cars around <laughs> so the, it's going to be a bit annoying because I have to set them out every time I get this down but at least it'll be different it won't be something you know that will change in fact apart from the scrap cars and whatnot that I want to put in for the garage they will be glued down but all the others will most likely just be loose on the layout uh, I think that is about it um, I don't think I'm going to put a canopy on this platform at least not the uh, you know the plastic hornby one because I don't think it's going to work with this building. 
So I might reuse these, at least these two holes for some platform lighting of some sort. Yeah, they will be like station parking in that space. Maybe not this one because I've got the bus stop there. I just thought that would be an ideal place. I could probably get a couple of spaces in there if I really wanted to. Um, yeah, I think that is about it. Right, what did I put my reroll? This is so handy to have. I think I just did most of that waving about without anything in shot. Sorry, I'm not keeping an eye on the camera, so just to recap, I'm going to put station parking in there. Maybe some spaces in there, I haven't decided yet, because you've got the bus shelter there. Mind you, I could always just shove that up a bit. Right. I want to know how well these are going to go around the track. That makes life so much easier, it really does. Every time. Go around the track. Quite nice, actually. It's just it gets a bit noisy on there, and I think that's because of the um, piss poor ballasting I did. I really am not happy with that. Yeah, that B12 runs, or three B12s. If we put a little pocket rocket on there, a little 040. hit the um, point motor. Yeah, okay, so I can't run that one um, full pelt round the track. That's what I was trying to do. Let's try that at a bit of a slower speed. That's still a bit fast for scale speed. That probably want to be something like that. That's a bit jerky on that back track. Mind you, I've not cleaned that back track yet. Some surprises going around as nicely as they are. A little bit of speed in it. Can get around any better? That's less jerky on there. I've lost both my track rubbers. I've got to find them. I've been having to use very lightly because this is quite coarse. But one of these, I don't like I said very lightly because they're a bit too coarse. You do what grind your tracks down. All right, so let's put this one. That's got. Is that like a commemorative loco or something maybe? Because it's got 1940 written on it. I've only just realised that. Was that just like coincidentally a day? Yep, that's going around. I suppose I could just leave that corner as it is working and just perhaps replace that point or find out why it's not uh, functioning correctly. Now, I do believe this GNT will run on this track. I don't feel like the wheel flanges are hitting the... Uh... It's got a wobble. So I may need to um, regain its wheels. Yeah, don't like it too much. Not at the slow speeds, anyway. It's not that bad. I think we should give Thomas a run. I haven't got an, um, Annie and Clarabelle out the box though, so I can't put them on. A little bit jerky. I must, um, might require a bit of cleaning. Or oh, I might just have to clean that track. Let's try the 0401, the first one that I got. Oh yeah, I knew he'd take off. Yeah, they're starting to get a bit jerky. I might have to just uh, get that backtrack clean. 
got a few of these old levers now. Don't know if there's any way that I could put a horn decoupling on these. Because I wouldn't mind using them, if not, they would um, get into pieces at least. Yeah, I might just have to skim over this track again. Whoa, he started to get really fast. I think some of these just need um, a bit of an exercise as well. I can guarantee many of these haven't been uh, used for a while. So why is Percy going the wrong way? Ooh, his motor does not sound too good. Percy, why are you squealing like that? You got a bit of an icky motor, maybe? It's just a standard 040 chassis, so I can just find another one and swap it. He'll probably swap straight onto that one, actually. I believe he will. Yep. <laughs> so what do I just uh, body swap one? That one, I think. Is that different? Slightly. Sweet! I want to see the blue one run. I'm going to put him on before um, I shut this video down because I really can't think of anything else to add. Because, uh, you know, apart from just mocking up some buildings, I'm open to ideas as well. If anyone's got any uh, ideas, feel free to uh, put them down in the comments. That one's a bit stoppy stay. Uh, we might have a bit of a raining issue with that one. On the count of the uh, fender has just come off. No, stay. Oh, actually, the whole thing has come off then. No. How's that? Yeah. See, these ones have also been sitting on my kitchen worktop. And if that backtrack's had dirt on it, then this is just dragging the dirt around as well. It's probably dirtied up all of this. I'm going to have to give everything a bit of a clean again. But uh, just for the giggles, we'll see if we can get the uh, black one to do a circuit for us. <laughs> if I didn't have that re-railer, this would actually be um, quite difficult. You've got a lot of wheels to try and get lined up. Unless the loco wants to behave like that one did. I can hear that one sparking for some reason. Still have a bit of a. So, I swear that I had a buffer in there. I did get a glimmer of life out of it, but I'm going to stop. I think the issue is there with the front wheels. Let's just reset the controller. No. So far, the only one that wants to work properly is the LNER one. I'm sure, I'm missing some as well. Sure I forgot some in the kitchen. Oh, I forgot a couple. Hang on. What do I add? I've gotten three of them actually. <clears throat> that one I think is still going to need a little bit of servicing. Hang on, I'll put him on there. Oh. 
I know I've had trouble with this connector before, but now it doesn't. Hey, what's gone wrong here now? Let's have a lemur on there, shall we? Sometimes the brick itself can has like a reset thing in it, so if I unplug it, plug it back in there, plug that back in there. There we go. Oh, it's come straight off the track. You just continue driving forwards for some reason. I would love to get some Hornby couplings on this because I would like to have that one in the service. Or I could just smash him on the floor. One or the other. He doesn't like the corners apparently. Let's see if that one will do a circuit for us. It's not running brilliantly. It's not running at all now. <laughs> it just sort of keeled over the edge. Shall we try? Got a little uh, diesel shunter going around. That we were told didn't work and actually does work fine. Sweet. Let me see if I can rescue this one. And yeah, it had a semi. Oh, it landed on its wheels more or less. So it landed that way on a plastic lid, so it wasn't too bad. I don't know why. Well, hang on, that could be a triangle based one. Looking at them wheels, that might be what come off. It's got slightly deeper wheel flanges on it. That one should be fine. Come on, we've got six bloody wheels, I don't need a re regular for that. I'll just let it door like that and see if it'll go around the corner. It will. Will it do a full circuit? That is probably quite a good scale speed for that, I want to say. Okay, so I've got to keep the speed down for that one. Ready to them. The weird thing with this one is, these middle wheels, they're not connected to the rods. Whereas most, well, pretty much all the other 06Rs I've got here, especially the Hornby ones, they all, all six wheels are actually connected. For some reason, Lima just decided not to. It's not like the wheels move back and forth. Though I have noticed, I don't know if that's got something to do with it, the gap between the back wheels and these ones is actually bigger. It's not an equal gap like, uh, say, on Thomas here. You see that? They're spaced equally. I don't know if that would have something to do with it and that would affect it running on the track so they decided not to um, do that. I suppose if I drilled a tiny little pilot hole in there I could potentially screw the Hornby couplings to that. It's about the only way I think I could do it. But the question is, do I want to do that on an older loco like this, an older lemur? Yeah. They don't look like they're worth that much on um, eBay, so you know, it's all flaking off. I've got a feeling I might have mixed my glue a bit too watery, because that really is flaking off now. Right, I think that is it for the uh, video, guys. I hope you enjoyed it. I hope you'll stay tuned for future updates. I can't tell you when they will be. Um, but I 
do want to start getting these buildings in place. So it actually looks a bit more like a layout rather than just track on a wooden board. <laughs> um, as tempting as it is just to leave it like that, because I do enjoy just running um, the locos around. was I before that distracted me? Oh yeah. Thanks a lot for watching. Um, if you have any comments, suggestions, etc, leave them down in the comments uh, down below, please. Um, and as always, I will leave links to the Discord server, um, my Twitch account, because I wouldn't mind live streaming some of this as well once I can get some sort of camera set up. I suppose I could do it from a laptop and just set the laptop up somewhere make use of that. Anyway, um, there will also be links to the gaming channel that I have and the Lego channel, so feel free to check all those out. But uh, on that note, I will uh, see you all in the next video. Bye!